This facility on the Gold Coast looks like any other fitness centre, but you soon realise what happens here is anything but the norm when you see this. The person who's going through what's called a tremor is none other than Pete Jacobs. But from being the best in 2012, Jacobs finished amongst the rest last year. His 79th placing the result of his body not being right. So, on the advice of his physio, he's undertaken the neurophysics training program, which in simple terms activates the nervous system to optimise performance. The mind and body connection is um, incredibly powerful. You know, I'm able to release tension that I build up, I'm able to stay healthier. I'm learning so much more about how the body works that, you know, I'm just much more knowledgeable and uh, knowledge is power. And with that power, Jacobs is aiming to win his second Hawaiian Ironman title in October and beyond. The goal is to cross the line first, you know, as many times as I can, you know, in the next... 10 years, so 10 more times. Ken Ware is the man who created the exercise-based program. As an elite athlete, he's obviously the, his best advantage is if he can maintain and control arousal you know, for very long periods of time, and being in that ideal state of performance. Physiotherapist Victor Popoff advised Jacobs to try this new approach. I was aware that I could get Pete better, but it might take me a few months. And he achieved an outcome in three or four days with Ken that you know, was quite spectacular and it would have taken me months. Other elite athletes now doing the program include Bulls cricketer Nick Buchanan, Lions legend Jonathan Brown and Olympic triathlete Maxine Sear. I wish I found this six, seven years ago. <laughs> they learn through a whole heap of techniques. We learn, they learn what it feels like to be in this optimum state of, of arousal and they start to get a, a better focus so that picture becomes a lot clearer the more they practice it. Some of Australia's leading swimming coaches have also investigated the training and rehabilitation techniques. It's quite un unconventional but sometimes those things are the things that make the difference and you know we're all looking for things within our program that can give us the edge. The list of potential gains is just too long not to, to look into it. Sean Lawson, Fox Sports News.